Okay, today is August 1st, 2023. Um, okay, so I got a hold of my son, right? Okay, yeah, you knew that. Okay, so he was mad, and it didn't sound like his voice, because he never really acts mad at me. So, mm, something's off with this video, the audio. The voice in this is not in sync. I might have to redo it. Oh, I downloaded movies. That's what happened. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do it like this anyway. Oh, my God. Free message. Unable to send message. Message, message blocking is active. Okay, well, this morning I got a... Okay, uh, 5.43 a.m. <laughs> I started texting him, right? Okay, so I said, Taylor, are you up yet? Okay, well, last night I texted him too. I forgot. Last night around 8.03. Okay, I said, it's Monday. Oh, no, 8.03 8 in the morning. Okay, so it was 8.03 in the morning. So I wasn't as mean. <laughs> okay, uh, it's Monday. I called the loan company. And let them know where I'm at. You're okay to go get my truck and bring it to me without getting in trouble. They understand Glenn got shot or shot himself and that you had to take care of the funeral arrangements and I and had trouble finding work. But that I came here to make burial arrangements with you for me with you. So and bought some burial insurance, life insurance and made him the beneficiary. So you wouldn't have to have that much of a burden on you when I die. Okay, so she understood that. And it was okay to wait because of the emergency. But you need to go get it on your day off, your next day off, love mom. Okay, nothing. So this morning I got up and I was like, Taylor, are you up yet? Tell me what you are going to do about my truck. Pay attention to what I'm saying to you. You, you you set yourself up to go to jail, prison for this because you cut off all contact for too long. Think for yourself, please. The loan company is not going to let this go just because I won't do anything about it. And just because I don't want your record run. They want the truck or the money and I want my truck. There are millions of jobs out here, but I have to have a way to get around. I need transportation by Saturday. Don't Don't you feel any guilt? If I get thrown out of here and nobody is willing to help a so-called child molester since somebody went all over the place breaking their necks to slander my good reputation, and that's what they believe here now, <laughs> even though I have never been that person in my whole life, and your dad is a sex offender with a record, not me, don't you feel a little responsible for that? Kevin owns these apartments, don't he? Yes. I've been going through this for too long. I told you this is not love. And alcohol is not an excuse to rob or murder anyone. I love you forever. I'm your one and only mother. I never did you any harm my whole life. I never will, but I can't stop others from harming you unless you let me. Cops are going to get involved soon. Um, you can only, I can only protect you until Saturday. After that, you're going to be in real trouble because of my truck and my situation. This is why we have a huge lawsuit, okay? This is what they did. They lied about our relationship because they were jealous. We were close and it was real for us. Look, Crystal Ivy took everything away from me because of that KKK sheet. Shyla, this... <laughs> Staff at <coughs> YOC. Oh my God. Oh. <clears throat> oh. Yeah, the staff at YOC put you in for punishment. She swiftly moved you into a foster care, uh, foster home. She tried to keep me from wrecking her career and suing YOC. That's why they tried to cover it up, because I drank. But I still am not a criminal or a sex offender or a drug addict. 
Um, she just can't pin anything on me. I called state police and reported it in October. Oh, whoops. October. It was um, October 10th, 2006, but I think it was June. June. No, it wasn't. It was October 6th, I think. October 6th. But it might have been 10. I don't know. But it was in 2006. It was October. I called the state police and reported it. You were still in the cottage. Then she blocks me. <sighs> okay. I was at work. I was at Arby's. Um, and he was taken out of my home. <sighs> they charged me with uh, possession. Because I had one Xanax pill in my purse and I had left my prescription bottle in my car <laughs> and so I had called one of my friends Steve to go and uh, get my keys and get the bottles out of my car and bring them to the jail so they would drop the charges and he did do that and they dropped the charges because it but but it was just it was loose but it was just one pill they weren't allowed to do that anyway. They could check on my record to see if I, uh, my insurance paid for it. It did. Then she tried to get me for being a drug addict and took those away from me. And then I couldn't get any pain pills or any anything, um, you know, any narcotic medications after that. <laughs> and... Um, I mean, they really tried to pin shit on me that wasn't necessary. So. And when they put him in the cottage, uh, my neighbor, Shannon, came over. It was after midnight. We were in bed. But she came over and woke my son up. My son let her in. She told him to go get the keys out of my purse, and he got the keys, and them two took off in my car. And the police pulled her over, took her to jail, towed my car, and brought Taylor home. Knocked on the door, and I woke up. I didn't even know he was gone. I wasn't high or nothing. I was just asleep. They did it on purpose to be quiet. So I went down to the police station to file, uh, you know, a stolen car report. <laughs> You know, because um, she took off with my car without my permission. And then they took me to jail the next Wednesday for false reporting. And that's why he was in the cottage. Because when they took me to jail, it was at night time. Midnight. It was after midnight when they came and got me. And we were in bed already. And they woke me up. Took him to YOC and took me to jail. And then the KKK sheet happened while he was in the cottage. And then they put him in foster care. See, and I got out of jail the next day because they dropped the charges on the false reporting too. Because the truth is, she did it without my knowledge. Just because Taylor gave her the keys don't mean I knew about it. He's too young. He's 12 years old. They didn't have the right to take me to jail. Anyway, all they wanted was to get him out of the house. And then she set it up to where I couldn't get him back because she put him in foster care. 